everybody. It's Conrad from ConradRocks.net, and this is the Conrad Rants Podcast, ranting about things that are rant-worthy. Today, I'm going to be ranting about something that really irks me. It's called cognitive bias. It's when dude, you just want to pull people's hair out of their head for them. Um, it's one of the major things that irritates me to no living in, and I actually think the whole human race suffers from it to a certain degree. I guess I do sometimes. But now I'm on the lookout for it because if I fall prey to it, I'm like, oh, man, there I'm falling into that trap again. So first off, let me explain what cognitive bias is, and then you tell, and then I'll tell you why it irritates me. Here's here's a definition from Wikipedia. It's really murky, but I guess, I don't know, this is what they say it is. A cognitive bias is a systematic pattern of deviation from norm or rationality in judgment. Wow, that's really a good way of explaining it. Individuals create their own. I think this is good. Individuals create their own subjective reality from their perception of the input, right? An individual's construction of reality, not the objective input. And that's the key may dictate their behavior in the world. Thus cognitive biases may sometimes lead to perceptual distortion, inaccurate judgment, illogical interpretation, or what is broadly called irrationality you can't handle the truth all righty then so anyway that's a murky wikipedia definition the way i look at it cognitive bias is having a bias to gather only the information that aligns with what you already believe or what you secretly want to believe what you want to be true you throw out All the information that's objective, all the information that disagrees or contradicts with what you want, you throw it out. But now, let's talk about how cognitive bias affects me and you in real life, and maybe what cognitive bias really is. You know, it'll kind of come to the light here when I talk about it. Cognitive bias is no more evident than in politics. And guess what? It can be dangerous. As in the case with this coronavirus, this COVID-19 thing, it can be very dangerous. Okay? So let's take... Now, I'm going to pick on the Trump supporters here. Don't get mad if you're a Trump supporter. But (laughs) I have so many Trump supporters in my stream. And I'm like, okay, you guys really love Trump, but are you being objective? And I don't like Trump, and I don't dislike him either. It's just I'm seeing how rabidly these people follow him because we could do the same thing with the Obama supporters. You know, remember how rabid they were the fan Obama girl. Do you remember all that? Or you can do it with any news outlet or whatever. You don't have to be a Trump supporter to be in, a victim of cognitive bias, but the people that love Trump like it. like I said, I'm not trying to step on toes, but I guess I'm going to a little bit. I'll probably get some hate mail over this. But the people that love Trump think he could do no wrong. He could walk out on Broadway and blow 10 people away, and they would think he had a good reason for it. They give him a pass. Here's a clip here of him saying something close to the same thing. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. <laughs> That's a clip of Trump saying the same thing. He realizes how rabid his followers are. So let me tell you why cognitive bias can be dangerous. Okay, in the big in the beginning of this COVID-19 coronavirus crisis, you may remember people like on Fox News, uh, Sean Hannity saying, oh, they're just it's overblown. It's nothing to worry about. But here's some of the Fox News reports before they before this thing became real and in your face and is killing people and after i'm going to play a few clips here check it out worst worst case scenario it could be the flu i feel like the more i learn about this the less there is to worry about i was about to say the same thing and here comes the flip-flop we don't have immunity to this virus it's a new virus it's a pandemic strain of a virus we haven't seen before and here's janine pirro All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. Without a vaccine, the flu would be far more deadly. And here comes the flip-flop. We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus that is moving across the world from one hotspot to another. Here's Sean Hannity before. 
We're going to call out anyone and everyone who's using this virus as a political weapon against the president. The standard flu every single year kills tens of thousands of Americans. And here's the flip flop. We are now entering what will be the crucial defining 15 day period as it, as it relates to this virus, where we must slow the spread of coronavirus. Dude, I don't have a problem with Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. I have a problem with all news. It's all fake, man. <laughs> why, why be programmed by these people? So anyway, I like to think for myself. And the reason I bring this up is I have friends and family that buy hook, line, and sinker whatever Fox News says. So my germaphobe friends, you know, after they hear that this is a hoax, yeah, the people are calling this coronavirus a hoax uh, perpetrated by the Democrats or something. I think they even have a clip of Trump saying that. But my germaphobe friends, they just continued going shopping, continued going to public places, and telling me that this is a conspiracy theory. If you listen to this stuff, it's crazy. It's a conspiracy theory or a conspiracy put up by the deep state. You know, is how they'll start saying the deep state. I think that's something that Fox says, and it's some type of a hoax. Because of the news and politicians giving people a false sense of security, okay, we're now number one in the world with the coronavirus. USA is number one in the world right now. So cognitive bias it comes in when people do their quote unquote research and they only read with the articles that agree and support the position they have already. They're not objective. So instead of looking for objectives, real answers to a problem, they're finding and aggregating biased answers. And this could lead to many thousands. And in the case of the coronavirus, this could lead to very many deaths, maybe even the millions, because people were not taking this seriously in the beginning. Now, this cynicism of mine has led me to not believe any news. I mean, I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to read the Bible or something because it, it, the news is just fake. I mean, it's all fake news from my perspective. I don't really trust much at all anymore. Now, I'm not, you know, I like I want to say again, I'm not picking on Trump supporters. It's just they're it's kind of easy to pick on them because they're so blind to all the the negative stuff. They're all blind to the bad stuff and then it's just crazy. I have nothing against Trump and nothing for him either. <laughs> the exact same thing could go for Obama lovers or whatever. Uh, but people toting the party line, whether it's Democrat, Republic or whatever, they're going to they're going to only find stuff that supports what they believe, and then they reject any argument to the con contrary. Another good example of how people don't bother to use the brains the good Lord gave them is all this copy and paste forward this stuff you see on Facebook Messenger. Man, it makes me want to scream. No! Shut up, you idiot! I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! And these stories are easily verifiable on sites like Snopes and, the, and, you know, the truth sites. Then I hear, oh, the Snopes is owned by George Soros, which it's not. That's a bunch of fake news, too. But these are from the same people, the people that are paranoid about the truth sites and Snopes and have, are so, have their blinders on so much that they won't even look in the truth. You know, they'll say things like there's an amusement park or Christmas town in heaven or you need to go buy an Iraqi dinar. You know, those people got thrown in jail, by the way. But, you know, gah, it's just, it irks me to no end. So if you think you might be a, pro a proponent of cognitive bias, just step back and ask yourself why you believe the things that you believe. Sometimes we need to deconstruct our own belief system. And just because grandma and grandpa said it, or daddy, or the pastor, or whatever, it doesn't mean it's true, right? You may, you may have a belief system based on some of the, the books that you read. Keep in mind Hitler. Now, that Hitler, he read Nietzsche, Freud, and Darwin. And then he comes up with this, uh, you know, this pure Aryan race thing. Right. It's, it's from stuff that he read. So we have to watch what we put in our eye gate, ear gate, and all that. You guys hear me talk about that all the time. But anyway, uh, he was severely biased and completely irrational. 
and millions of people were affected. Millions of people died. So don't be like Hitler. Amen? Think for yourself. See what's true. You know, seek the seek the Lord diligently. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, thank you for listening to another episode of Conrad Rants from ConradRocks.net. If this has touched you, please share this episode with your friends and check out my blog, ConradRocks.net. That would rock! Rock!